how to make the residual payment and we'll see from uh, complete uh, inverse creation to the residual payment so first we'll go to fb60 and post one invoice quickly and here i will give a example as residual payment for that uh, i will give amount as 21000 and we'll give a purchase account here Thirty one thousand, and here uh, give the cost center US rent. So, these are the basic information I have filled here, and uh, I will save the document. So, thirty thousand, uh, this is the document nineteen thousand zero zero ten is my document. Now, we'll go to slash and FBL one and just to see how our documents looks like. So here, uh, this is due for payment. Now 31,000 is the payment. Now I am saying that I want to make a residual payment. So there are two options which SAP has given and we'll see, we'll explore both the options, okay? So what we will do is for 31,000, we'll do residual payment. So first we'll understand only the residual payment concept. Then I will explain the uh, partial payment option also. So we'll go to slash and F dash 53. Give the date. Give the bank account here. I already done the bank account payment related. So I have selected the bank account and the vendor details which we have. Okay, so vendor all information which uh, we have entered here. Now, the thing is that we have to enter amount. So, for example, let's say they wanted to make only a, basically residual payment is nothing but the uh, partial payment only. It is kind of a partial payment, but uh, at the time of clearing, it will show a different uh, valuation together. So, so out of 31,000, they are making only 12,000, let's say. Let's say 19,000, they are wanted to, not 19,000, we'll put some odd figures, 17,500. Okay, so they wanted to make a amount of 17,500 and process open item. So first deselect all the line items which got selected and deactivate all so we don't want to sorry select all and deactivate all so these are all deactivated now i want to make uh this is the seventeen thousand five hundred is came against this particular invoice let's say for this thirty one thousand uh this seventy one thousand five hundred has been came up so what we will do is select this thirty one thousand so still it will show as thirteen thousand five hundred is my difference now I have two options, partial amount and the residual uh, items. So I want to set, up, set this off as a residual item. Double click here. So just select residual item and double click on the open item. Means here, just I will show you again. So just double click on this blank here. So it will automatically come the balance amount which was there here to here. So I will show you again. Okay, so for example, let's say here we have a 13,500 balance and it is showing up as blank. Okay, you just need to double click here. So it will come the balance to here. So out of 31,000, we are making 17,500 as a payment and 13,500 will go as a residual item. And now save the transaction. So here it is asking for some uh, additional information need to be done. So payment received as residual payment. I'm just adding some text and now we'll make a posting. So 15,000 has been posted. Let's go and watch FBL 1N report. Now execute it. 
here you are not able to see the transactions which is there like 31000 nothing we are able to see here right so this document has gone to our all items so just select all and execute it so the 31000 which we have as a open item is came up here Okay, 31,000 has came up here and there is one transaction like 13,500 which we have made. So here also like uh, we have set as a residual payment, right? So this has kept as an open item. So the main amount which was there like a 31,000 we have created the invoice. So that will be cleared. And the pending amount like 13,500 was the pending amount, right? So that will show as an open item. So this is how the residual payment works.